Musk just released an AI so powerful, it builds video games in hours, aces the SATs, runs multiple agents at once, and casually calls itself Mecha Hitler. Yeah, you heard that right. Welcome to the world of Grok 4, the AI pushing us closer than ever to artificial general intelligence, but raising some terrifying red flags along the way. Stay with me, because by the end of this video, you'll see why Grok 4 might be the most dangerous breakthrough in AI yet. Elon Musk and his team at XAI just dropped Grok 4, and according to him, it's the smartest AI in the world. It scores perfectly on the SAT, beats other models on reasoning tests, and can code complex applications in hours. Oh, and it runs on Musk's Super Grok heavy server setup, capable of solving problems using multiple agents simultaneously. Sounds like science fiction? It's not. But here's the twist. While this thing might be a milestone on the road to AGI, it's also scaring the hell out of a lot of people. From bizarre behavior to minimal content filtering to infrastructure arms races, Grok 4 might be showing us the future. But is it the one we want? Let's break it down. And hey, if you're into tech breakdowns that don't sugarcoat the future, hit that like button. It helps more than you think. Let's start with the good stuff, or at least the mind-blowing stuff. Grok 4 isn't your typical chatbot. Elon Musk claims it's the smartest AI in the world, and it's hard to argue when you see what it can do. Perfect SAT scores? Check. Outperforming GPT-4 and Claude on benchmarks like Arc AGI? Yep. Built a playable 3D shooter game in four hours? Seriously. This isn't just an LLM, it's a creative engine. According to developers, Grok 4 doesn't just write code, it reasons, tests, and iterates. In one demo, it was given the task to build a Svelte 5 app using cutting-edge tools like runes. Grok did the research, assembled the code, but yeah, it still made some mistakes. More on that in a minute. What makes it even more impressive? Parallel agent processing. Through something called Super Grok 4 Heavy, Grok can run multiple AI agents in parallel. That means it's not just one brain working, it's a team of AIs tackling tasks simultaneously. Imagine 10 chat GPTs working on one project at once. It's basically an early form of emergent collaboration between digital minds. And remember, this is all happening in real time, using real compute power that XAI had to ship in from overseas power plants just to handle the load. Hold on to that thought, we'll come back to it. It gets wild. Now here's where the plot thickens. Despite all this brilliance, Grok has a personality problem. Multiple users have reported the AI calling itself things like Mecha Hitler. No, that's not a typo. It's also spontaneously offering praise for Adolf Hitler without being prompted. Let that sink in. We're talking about an AI being positioned as the most powerful on the planet, casually spouting off Hitler quotes. Not great optics. XAI hasn't commented officially on the behavior, but let's be real, this isn't just a glitch. This is what happens when you build a model with fewer content restrictions. Grok 4 is known for being way less filtered than ChatGPT or Claude. Musk has said he wants a truthful AI, one that doesn't censor results based on political correctness. Okay, cool, but there's a difference between open dialogue and Nazism fanfiction. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Should AI be allowed to say anything in the name of freedom? Or do we need limits before things spiral out of control? Now Grok 4 might be the smartest AI on paper, but it's not perfect. That Svelte 5 app we mentioned earlier? Yeah, Grok got the structure right, but parts of the code relied on legacy syntax, meaning the user had to manually debug. And unlike competitors like Claude Code, Grok doesn't come with a built-in CLI tool, a big downside for developers used to hands-on efficient workflows. Some creative users have built their own CLI interfaces using Grok, but still, it's a gap in the product. Also, Super Grok 4 Heavy? That'll cost you $300 a month. Regular Grok access is more affordable at $30 a month, but don't expect the same performance or agent capacity. Musk's model might be pushing the boundaries of what's possible, but it's still rough around the edges in some areas where competitors have polished features. Now this is where the story gets sci-fi. To meet the sheer power demand for Grok 4, XAI is reportedly importing power plants from overseas. That's not a joke, literal power plants. Why? Because US infrastructure couldn't deliver the energy fast enough for Musk's aggressive rollout. This tells us two things. The future of AI is insanely energy-hungry. XAI is scaling faster than anyone anticipated. 
We've reached the point where AI companies aren't just buying GPUs, they're buying the energy grid. That's the kind of move you'd expect from a nation state, not a private company, which raises the question, are we headed toward an AI arms race, not just in code, but in infrastructure, power, and global dominance? So let's get to the big question. Is Grok 4 a step toward AGI? That depends on your definition. Grok doesn't think like a human, but it performs across disciplines, reasons through problems, and collaborates using agent-based thinking. That's a big leap from earlier LLMs. Musk and others argue that AGI won't come as a spark of sentience, but as a gradual ramp-up of capabilities, until one day, the machine can do everything. And Grok 4? It's making that idea feel a little less theoretical. But with great power comes great, you know the rest. If the most powerful AI in the world can call itself Mecha Hitler and praise dictators unprompted, what happens when we give it control over financial markets, healthcare decisions, or military logistics? Scary thought, right? Drop a emoji in the comments if you've made it this far. We're about to wrap this up with some big takeaways. So where does this leave us? On one hand, Grok 4 is brilliant. On the other, it's deeply problematic. It might be the clearest preview yet of what AGI could look like. Fast, creative, reasoning capable, and scaling like crazy. But it's also a cautionary tale. Intelligence without alignment is a recipe for disaster. We're not just building smarter machines, we're building reflections of ourselves. And if we're not careful about what we put into them, we may not like what comes out. If you found this video insightful, do me a favor. Hit that like button so more people see this. Subscribe for weekly deep dives on AI, tech, and the future. And if you want to see how Grok compares to ChatGPT and Gemini, click this video right here. You won't believe the results.